All right, so to begin this uh, next project, um, our next project is called the Masterpiece Makeover. Um, and as part of this assignment, you will be doing a little research about a work of art that you are choosing to superimpose your face onto, which is kind of fun. You're going to turn into a classical work of art. Um, so to first begin, you need to actually choose the painting that you're going to use before you know what type of photograph we need to take of you and the angle. So I want you to click the link below in our class blog. It's called the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And we're going to look at the Met's works um, for our resources. Now there's over 24,000 paintings at the Met to choose from. So hopefully I don't see any duplicates. Um, I'm going to choose a painting that... Where did it go? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to choose this painting, Young Woman with a Pink. It is attributed to Hans Memling. Okay, he's a Dutch artist. And I'm a girl, so I'm going to use a female in the painting. Um, so once you find a painting that you like and decided you want to use, go ahead and click that painting, and then this page will show up. Um, we'll see that image. Down at the bottom here, below the image, go ahead and click full screen. And in order to download this image, in the bottom right corner of your web page, you'll see this little down arrow with a line underneath it. That allows you to download an HD version of this image. So it shows up in another web page after you've clicked that little button. Then I want you to right click the image and choose save image as, and just save it to your desktop. And I'm going to call mine Memling because that's the name of the artist who painted it and then click save, okay? Once you've done that, go ahead and hit the back button, hit the back, and then click close in the top left, or top right corner, and it brings us back to this page. Now you're gonna need to stay on this page because in our class blog, there's a little bit more legwork that you need to do before we can begin our project. So once you've clicked the link for full screen and you've saved the image, um, what I would like you to do is leave a comment on our web page with these details about your painting. The reason I want you to do this is because when it comes time to grade it, I would like the original painting to reference um, to, against your painting so I can see all the stuff that you changed. Um, so first, you need to leave me a blog post that has the name of the painting. So over here, the young woman with pink. Okay. Now what you can do is you could, if you wanted to, just Highlight, copy, and then paste that into a blog post. Now we don't need this information. We do need the dates. The medium is oil and wood. We don't need the dimensions, so you can take out the dimensions and the classification is paintings. So you should leave all this information, go ahead and click publish. Make sure that you're logged into your FNWSU account so I know who's making the blog posts. And then it'll say, it'll show up underneath. So it'll say, Miss Didio, you know, blah, 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 blah. This is all my information. Once you've done that, I want you to go ahead and start watching all of the step-by-step -step tutorials completely all the way through from one all the way to the end before you ever begin the project. There's a lot of small details and there's a lot of steps in this project so you need to know what's coming for you uh, before you begin.